Hello there. It's your boy, Tasty Cake. Okay, I'm going to do my review on Doctor Who Empire of Death. What is my score? I'm going to say 7 out of 10. Let's break it down. Not in any order. It was more like Doctor Who Infinity War. Nothing wrong with that. Just saying. Uh, Doctor, it's all your fault. Doctor, it is all your fault. Hmm. Eh, it's, you know, that's just a given. The memory TARDIS, I want an insert. No, I need another police box for Tenant's 14th Doctor. I need a police box f for the shooties, 15th Doctor. And I want another one with the memory TARDIS interior, because that's just awesome. I want to have that displayed. Cause have the doors open, saying, memory TARDIS, it's so beautiful. Mel, oh my god, so spectacular. If there is a unit spin-off, which brings in Rose, like, mm. What did she do in this episode? She's on her tablet saying, hmm, I need to look for another job. It's kind of like we brought in the, made a character, brought her in, like, well, you know, choices. The fact that Sutek has been around for th since the fourth Doctor, so... When Adric's on the top of the harness, Doctor, something brushed against my bum. Bah, it's nothing, Adric. Or when Tardis was destroyed in Frontos, destroyed in one of the Eleventh Doctor stories. Or Twelfth Doctor sitting on top of the Tardis. Oh. I prefer this Doctor. I feel the darkness within him. Much like the War Doctor, the Ninth Doctor, and the Tenth Doctor. The power of evil. What about when 13th and Yaz were sitting on the TARDIS? Why haven't they kissed yet? No. The things you think about. For him to, for Sutek to be around that long, hanging on the TARDIS, not being detected. And again, one of my negatives. Was it one of my negatives? Yes, it was. I'm sure it was. Uh... Yes, one of my full point negatives. Sutek being on top of the TARDIS. But 15th TARDIS was created by magic. So what about the 14th Doctor's TARDIS? What about the 14th Doctor? I mean, two Doctors together can, you know, you know, choice was made. Yeah, I still love the episode, it's just, you know, the opportunity was there. What happened to the 14th Doctor? Uh, let's see. Sutek was there. Uh, alkalites were everywhere. Mm, it's, that makes sense. It's understandable. The devastation is real. People need to stop and think this does not happen. And so understand. I think I just need to make a point. Devastation is real. Is here, then say Israel. Say you know, open your eyes, people. Uh, take the take the dog for a walk. That was a jet joke. Taking the dog for a walk, and how Sutek tears through the walls of the time vortex. Like, okay, that's something different. The idea that the doctor is now bad feels it because it's all through. The season is upset, crying, because and now I understand it. It's, he is very emotional because this is he doesn't have the trauma. You know, maybe just a little too much during the season. This episode, I can accept it. I accept the tears in this one, but towards the end, at the end, of course, is you know, we know the next season he's going in the Christmas special. He's going to be mean because the tides have turned, things have changed. He has to kill. He kills the god of death. And it changes him. 
just at the end of the show and he says to Ruby goodbye you know I don't think there was a tear there but it got me something I've said many times over and won't stop me again make him about it as it does just goodbye the fact that she's coming back for next season for a couple things okay it's, uh, it's okay the idea that a god was so profoundly interested in who was her mother and turns out it was just a young girl you know it gave an ending which is fine you know because you watch it first time we're saying people got to watch it I watched it twice and so the second time around I was like you know what I understand it I'm cool with it it's acceptable it's fine well it's just tape okay because you know it says it is what it is I'm behind the sign here um, everybody lives it's understandable the whole inf Infinity War situation where everyone dies and but no one remembers is just the doctor Mel who's been possessed thankfully he turns back to human and Ruby the going forward in time with the worst prime minister of them all and so okay I'm so what was the whole point of 73 yards if he still becomes prime minister that's my you know so she knows 73 yards how do you know I don't know like, so does that still exist it has to exist because they're going forward in the future so that's one of my negatives like, I'm not throwing in now because you know, wait a minute, how does that make any sense whatsoever it's a fixed uh, fix, I someone explain that to me uh, Sutek did nothing but all gods are the same yeah he did nothing all has people do things for him yes you know I understand that so that's why I switched my half point for that one Sorry, it's so hot bugs are coming out of the woodwork I smashed a couple of them with my hand so yeah, gods don't do anything they just there that's not their job and I did watch Pyramid of Mars not the original one because it's been so long ago not the VHS tape I had. There's a bouncing bug somewhere, and I just, I can hear it. Give me a moment. I'll be right back. Anyway, can find it. I'll be a god and destroy it. Hmm. Anyway, uh, Doctor and Ruby show that they are best friends. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's there. Understandable. Because even though it's a short season, you still have stories. Stories will always be written. Stories and audio, so... No, deal with it. This is just, you know, when it comes out, it comes out. The sad part, it was only eight episodes. But still, I accept it. Uh, Kate is happy. Good for Kate. Did it make a real difference? I don't know why I put that down. Shooting at the TARDIS, and so the TARDIS has bullet holes in it now. Wouldn't that be? You know, it was seen there. TARDIS had bullet holes, then it was gone. So, okay, the TARDIS should not have bullet holes because it was shot out in San Francisco. I don't know. That's the neat. The memory TARDIS, I still love that thing. I don't know where it went to. It was nice when it was there. Uh, Ruby's mom, you know, wow, it's closure. And finally, the dad as well. Okay. Closure, not worrying about it. Say, oh, it's a trickster. And then going on further, the story's been ended. It's a happy ending. The doctor's going to be mean for the Christmas special. Very Scrooge, I guess. 
She made it snow again. Um, Mrs. Flood. She mentioned that she had more. She had plans. Some more plans to take care of. And now this. You know the whole Clara thing and the Romana thing. No, I I do feel more of the Rani. If they can't get the rights to the Rani, what's is the return of Missy? We have another Missy instead of the Master. We'll figure it out. Or did the meddling monk turn to woman? Who knows? We'll see. See, will it go forth? Will it go forth that the doctor will look for Susan or just accept the big finish audio? So it, it's been pushed there. Now he said so. He's like, well, didn't throw in that. You no, know, she was there with the five doctors. Didn't cover the big finish where she was with the eighth doctor, and her son was killed. And then the doctor just went off and just couldn't deal with it anymore. And that was uh, McGann's son. So, saying, this is your great grandson. Why would you call him granddad? It's fun. Uh, bring back, bring a classic companion back. No, I'll be honest, that'd be nice. But if they do the unit thing, then you got Bonnie Langford. I like him. Still wondering what the other scientific advisor to replace it with a kid who has weapons in his segue. Whatever. So you take on top of TARDIS. We're talking about that. Uh, it's not the trickster, but the closure. Kids with guns on segue, but cannot have Davros as a being crippled anymore. Okay. Not my show. Because do I have Davros? No, I don't. I never did a Dalek story. The Cybermen. Very fond of the Cybermen. I think I planned for a Dalek story in the parallel universe with the Valyard in the story Shadows of the Valyard. Yeah. Because is when the, the War Master created the Daleks in Big Finish. So I said, I like that idea. So it'll be the Valyard sitting in the chair. He created a crew, a squad. I got my squad of Daleks. Mm -hmm. Not a very happy ending. That's a plan. Um, the goodbyes. Yeah, it was a. Uh, So when I watched it again, it's like, that's not a negative. It's, it's the, she's, she's happy. She's going to come back and appear next season, you know. And it's a, it's a hard, hard wrenching thing. Shooting a god. I mean, you're trying to shoot Harbinger. Like, well, that's not right. Putting bullet holes in the TARS, which are gone. I'm like, that's what you think. Rapid round. Five five rounds rapid. Did you learn nothing from what your father tried to do when nothing ventured? Nothing gained. Almost died. They brought him back to life, of course, in the battlefield. But still, you know. Don't go shooting gods. I mean, he just could have come around and went, no. You had harbingers go blow sand in your face and Anakin's going no you upset the spirit of Anakin Skywalker Sutek is a dog Davros has legs 14th died and Donna they, so what happened to them it's not it's not their story I just like you know there was an audio from Big Finish. The Five Companions. Do I have it here? I think I do. Um, I have this disc. I just, here we go. 
wrong one. Are these them? No. Is this one? I was able to get this on eBay or something years ago. So what happened in turn? So we have the Doctor Peter Davison, Ian Chesterton, William Russell, Stephen Taylor, Peter Purves, Sarah Kingdom. Peter says, uh, Stephen says, Sarah, you're alive. Yes, I am. It's like okay, Jean Marsh was available, so they're bringing back Sarah Kingdom. That was interesting. Polly, right? Uh, Nissa, Dalek, Santarans, they were all part of it. It added to the story. I like to have additional things on the side. Like, okay, in the novelization, will anything go further? Will I get it? Bother getting a novelization? Or would it be an audio, you know? Uh, things I would like to know about. Uh, the joke about. Yeah, it's the 13th. Why aren't, why aren't they kissing? Uh, the trickster breaking the fourth wall again. Like, mm, the joke is there, but who would be breaking the fourth wall? I, mean, I like things like that. That's hilarious. Mrs. Flood's like, okay. I could have done more things like, hmm, Ronnie, Missy, Monk as a woman. Things like that. So we'll, we'll see what happens with Mrs. Flood. Be nice. So I said seven, seven out of ten. Because yeah. there's little things, a shooting of a god. Uh, the one thing I just forgot to talk about. Sutek wants to know about Ruby's mom. <laughs> Sutek on top of the TARDIS since then. They, it, <clears throat> so he expanded to a Titan. And they just put a chain around his neck and, you know, it's nitpicking, so. Seven, seven to eight out of ten. So I still like the story, just not understanding certain things. And they're basically just nitpicking. So for me, it was a good story. Him, I said it, him crying, but when I watched it again, it's like, it's understandable for here. And understandable why it was done, because we to establish this is how his character is, is just young and everything else. You know, I just everyone's saying is like, yeah, it's, it's you know, it shouldn't be the doctor, but he doesn't have the trauma, doesn't have the all the other things there. He has the memories, but not the sensation, the feelings of it. So that's what he is. And then next season, Christmas special, he's going to be, you know, darker. Because he ended up having a kill. Sutek. He just wanted to let him be. He's like, you know, you're trapped at the far end of the universe. No, you won't be bothering us anymore. And I was like, that's it. Here, he did it. And it affected him deeply. For Ruby to break down. That was a... Like, Doctor, don't... Don't go alone. You know, you need to be with someone. Can't tell how Sutek was feel about the value on. Oh, it was pure evil. You could have been one of us. It could have been one of my harbingers. So it's, it's so when I had my low scores, like no, it's just nitpicks here and there. It's, I enjoyed it. I would watch it again. Just kind of confusing. Oh yeah, the um, going to the future and seeing the worst prime minister ever. Like, you know, if Ruby stopped him from existing, or stopped him from becoming prime minister, how is it that he does become bec prime minister? And, you know, like that. Oh, he left a loophole. And all around, it was good. I, I admit it. So, that was my 20 minute review. Unaltered, unfiltered only. The best I do it here because I won't be doing it tonight. I have other things to take care of. 
and reviews. So please like, subscribe, share, comment. I need to look back in the picture, see what I had, that, what character I had right there in the corner. I, so I was going to do it, I forgot. I do have my live show tomorrow night, tomorrow afternoon at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern on YouTube. I'm off Twitch for a while because it's not... Um, not very welcoming, if you know what I mean. But I got Oreos. So as I posted, I had I know what the last Oreos are. So I looked it up yesterday on online. But I got to meet because I got them at Sam's. Ooh. I got a. I got a. Uh, teen, uh, I got a figure. Talk about. What I did today, because tomorrow's gonna be 101 degrees. I'm not going outside. So, my adventures of today. Talk about tomorrow. I guess even do a couple more views. So until then, always remember, time waits and turns slowly. <laughs>